Well, hello everyone. This is going to be a short demo of the Microsoft Surface Pro and Camtasia 8, which is what I'm using to record this session. Um, I'm also recording with the Blue Yeti microphone, so the audio that you're hearing right now is coming from the Blue Yeti. Now what I want to do is show you a little bit about what the Surface Pro can do and what I use the Surface Pro for. I do a lot of screencasting for my students. And the Surface Pro allows me to write on the screen just like I would uh, paper on pencil. So let me show you, to get going here, I'm going to show you a little bit about what the system looks like. We're going to go to system properties and so this particular version of the Surface Pro is running an i5 core processor with four gigabytes of installed memory. And so this Surface Pro essentially really this this is this is like a laptop I mean most tablets out there don't come with an i5 core processor and they don't run a full version of Windows 8 Pro which allows you to really really get a lot of work done and that's mainly what I bought this for was to get a lot of work done so let's go over here now and open up Windows Journal. Windows Journal is uh, part of Microsoft's software package and it usually comes standard on all Windows based PCs. And basically what it is is it allows you to write on the screen. So I'm just going to give a quick demo here. Uh, you can set up several different pen options. I really like the chisel marker because uh, it makes the handwriting look really good. So this is a test. of the surface Pro. And as you can see, the handwriting is really, really good. There is there's no lag whatsoever. So what I want to do now is just show you, now that you've got kind of an idea about how in the world can I use the Surface Pro and how in the world does the inking capability, how, how are the inking capabilities? with the Surface Pro. Okay. Uh, let me show you over here. This is this is a video that I've recently posted on YouTube. And as you can see, there there are 32 pages in this document. This is um, Adobe Acrobat Pro. And if you have Adobe Acrobat Pro, I, I recommend it because what you can do is you can easily convert your Windows Journal file into a PDF file and then you can directly upload the PDF file into the course management system for your students to access but what I do is I go through and for this particular video I chose a blue background and then I had a black color for the pen which looks really nice I'm still trying to come up with a, a cool color that I can stick with for all the videos and it's, it's kinda hard because you have so many choices so let's go back over here and like I said let me just show you uh, quickly here how how in the world do you set up the background so you can go to file and then go down to page setup and then you can click on style and right here you have an option here of choosing several different colors and if you you don't like any of these colors you can click on more and then you you basically have any color that you want 
and this comes in handy when you're doing graphs and, and a lot of mathematics like, like I use the Surface Pro for. Okay. Now, you don't have to use Windows Journal. Uh, again, I've got Office 2013 on this particular tablet slash PC. And uh, OneNote is another really good inking uh, handwritten note type of software uh, that you can use. There is pressure sensitivity. Okay, so if you start out really light and then you bear down, then the Surface Pro will pick that up. So a little bit more here with the inking capabilities. Let's change colors here. Maybe just go with a dark a dark blue and let's say that we want to maybe draw a line or something like this. Okay, so you can see that you can easily draw on the screen and allow your viewers to follow along with you. So this is just a little bit about the Microsoft Surface Pro. So it's, it's a fantastic tablet. Um, I've I've tried you know the iPads and the spongy tip just does not allow me to take the kind of notes handwritten notes that I like to take with the Surface Pro. So, any questions, comments, just leave those below and I'll be glad to respond. Thank you guys for watching and have a wonderful day.